Hi friends, welcome to First Edition YouTube channel. This is part 49 in PySpark playlist. In this video, we will be discussing about get JSON object function in PySpark. Before watching this video, I would request you to watch my previous videos where I have explained about other JSON functions like from JSON, to JSON, and JSON tuple. So similar to this, get JSON object function is also part of this JSON functions that will help you when you are working with JSON strings. Let's try to understand how this function will actually help you when you are working with JSON strings. So let's assume if you have a JSON string in one data frame in one of the column and maybe you want to take the JSON part based upon the nodes. For example, if I have a JSON string like this, and I want to take this JSON string based upon the nodes, like only gender I want to take, or maybe city, or maybe address. So based upon the node path, I want to take the values, then you can use get JSON object function. So let me practically explain you this so that you will get a most sense of it. So let's go to browser. Here I have already opened my Databricks workspace. And here let's try to create a new notebook, new notebook. And let me name this notebook as maybe get JSON object notebook. Okay. So Python is a default language. This is my cluster. Let me hit create button to create this uh, Databricks notebook here. So once the notebook get created here, I want to create a data frame using create data frame function with some hard coded values. I have already prepared some data here, some Python code here. So let me copy this here. So so here, if you see what I am doing, there is a data variable which holds a list and inside this list, this is the first item. This is the first item and then this is the second item. Okay. So two tuples inside list and here, if you see Mahir is the first item inside a tuple and second item is from here to here, which is embedded inside this single quotes. That means this entire thing is actually string. And if you closely observe this data, this is a JSON string actually. So that means this is a JSON data and it has two nodes. One is address, another one is gender. So address contains again JSON data in, in under address. We have a city node and state node under gendered. It is directly data like mail that means string. So let's say this is our JSON string what we have. So and we have a column names like name and properties for this. Now let's try to create a data frame here and let's try to save the data frame in data DF variable. So here spark dot create data frame function will help you to create a data frame. I have already covered what is create data frame function and everything in our previous videos of Python by PySpark playlist. So please watch them. So now let me hit data frame dot show. Let's use a truncate parameter here and let me pass false as a value because I want to make sure this entire JSON string to be visible in a data frame when I am printing output using the show function and then let me use print schema function also on top of a data frame. So let me hit shift enter to execute this code. Once the command execution completes, we can see a data frame get created with two columns. One is name column, another one is properties column. Under name column, you can see our values came like Mahir and Wafa and this JSON strings came under properties column. So, so far it is good. So what I want is I want to read from this JSON string. I want to read by specifying a path of the nodes. Uh, for example, I want to take out only CD or maybe I want to take out entire address or maybe I want to take out gender as a separate columns. So how we can do that? So using get JSON object function, we can very easily do that. So let me practically explain you this. So here what I am doing is from PySpark dot SQL dot functions module. Let me import the function called get JSON object. Okay. And here we can use a help function to see the documentation of get JSON object actually. So let me hit shift enter to execute this code. And if you see it takes two parameters, one it will take a column which contains your JSON string and second one specify the path of the JSON node what you want to take out. So let me practically explain you this by, by running some example here. So let me remove this code. So our data frame is ready. Now from our data frame, let's use a select function. 
to take out some columns. So from my data frame, I want to take out name column and then maybe I want to take out the gender column. So what I want to do is here is I can use this get JSON object function. To this function, I have to supply the column which contains your JSON string. So properties is the column which contains my JSON string. So let me use that. And then here in string format, I have to specify the path. So dollar indicates the root node and from the root node, uh, there is a node called gender that I want to be take out, take out. So let's use a gender node and this entire thing will take out the gender out node value and it will print as a separate column. So for that column, I want to use the alias name. So I want to use like gender as a column for that one. So let's try to store this in data frame one and then finally let's try to use this data frame one dot show function and let me hit shift enter to execute this code so now my command is running here now if you closely observe the results so when i printed my data frame i got name and properties but after that when i used the get json object function you can see i got this gender column separately and if you see for the second row it is null why because if you see here for this second row in the json string there is no gender node in the first row only it has a gender node you can observe the same thing here that is the reason for the second reason, uh, row it printed null so what i can if for example let's assume this is also gender okay and this is also like this male now if i execute this code i will be getting uh, both the rows with values male male you can see here why because now our json string has a gender node in second row as well so what if if i have a nested json like this and I want to take maybe under address, I want to take out the city name. So how to do that? For that, what we can do here, dollar, then mention like address, then inside address, city, okay? And let's give an alias name also as city. Now let me hit shift, execute, shift enter to execute the cell. Now if you closely observe, under city column, we are getting Hyderabad and Bangalore correctly. And let's assume I want to get another column also, then what you can do, you can use another get JSON object like this. So let me copy, comma, let me paste and here under address, maybe I want to take out state and I want to take out as a state column. So now let me hit shift enter to execute this code. Now I got city and state everything. Okay. So that's it. I hope you got an idea how to use get JSON object and read the JSON notes by specifying the path. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the notifications whenever I add videos. Thank you so much.